this session we are going to discuss previous year TCS national qualifier test numerical ability question. Let's enter into first question of this session. So here we have the first question. The difference between the simple interest accrued on a sum at P percentage per annum and P minus 5 percentage per annum after 4 years will be rupees 12,000. Find this sum. So here you have two different rate of interest and which is simple interest. Right. So in simple interest for one year, if the rate of interest is 4 percentage, for 5 years it will be 5 into 4, 20 percentage. For one year if it is 2 percentage, for 5 years it is 5 into 2, 10 percentage. Right. So here it is given P percentage per annum. So for 4 years it is 4 P percentage. And another rate of interest is P minus 5 percentage per annum. So for 4 years it is 4 P minus 5 percentage per annum. And the difference between uh, 4 P A percentage and 4 into P minus 5 percentage is equivalent to 12,000 and you have to find this sum. So sum is the principal amount. So principal amount is always 100 percentage. Right. So we have to find that 100 percentage. Now for one year it's P percentage. For four years it is 4 P percentage. And for one year the another rate of interest is P minus 5 percentage. For four years it is 4 P minus 5 percentage. And the difference is given as 12,000 rupees. With this, you can find the P percentage, right? Now, 4P percentage minus 4 into P, 4P. And minus into minus, you get plus 4 into 5, it is 20 percentage, equivalent to 12,000. Now, we can cancel this plus 4P percentage and minus 4P percentage. Now, 20 percentage is equivalent to 12,000. Now, you found that 20 percentage uh, difference between the rate of interest is equivalent to 12,000. Now you have to find the sum. So sum is how many percentage always. So the principal amount is always 100 percentage. So we have to find the 100 percentage. So 100 percentage equivalent to X. Now just cross multiply X equal to 12,000 divided by 20 into 100. Now we can cross multiply. So it is five times. So 12,000 into five, we get 6,000, I mean 60,000. So the 60,000 is nothing but this sum, the principal amount. Hope you are clear with this problem. Now moving to question number two. What is the difference between the compound interest on rupees 60,000 at the rate of 12 percentage per annum compounded annually in two years and the simple interest earned on 50,000 at 16 percentage per annum in two years. So we have to find the difference between the interest we acquired for that 60,000 at 12 percentage rate of interest at I mean 12 percentage per annum compound interest for two years and 50,000 at 16 percentage rate of interest, I mean simple interest for two years. So we have to find the difference. So it is very, very simple. We don't want to use any formula. So the 60,000 is the principal amount, right? So I will show you how easily you can find compound interest. So the 60,000 rupees is the principal amount. And for one year, the rate of interest is 12 percentage. So the 60,000 is 100 percentage. With this 100 percentage, you will get extra 12 percentage. So next year you will be getting 112 percentage, right? So it is into 112 percentage. So 112 by 100. See, the 60,000 is 100 percentage. So this is your principal amount. So next year you will be getting a 12 percentage extra. So that is 112 divided by 100. So if you solve this, you will get a value, right? So that is 100 percentage for next year. From that, another 12 percentage will increase on the second year, the consecutive year. So you have to multiply this by another 112 by 100. So we have discussed this compound interest problem for sufficient number of times and I have included the link of simple and compound interest in description. If you haven't watched, please have a look at it. Now, if you cancel this, you get how much? So 0, 0 cancel and 0, 0 cancel. Now, what is 112 into 112? Again, we have a shortcut to multiply this 112, right? So 112 square. So it is uh, 112 into 112, you get. So it is 112 square, right? So the shortcut is. So comparing to 100, this 112 is how much higher? 12 higher, right? So add 12 with this 112. So you get 124. So what is 12 square? So 12 square is 144. Now in 100, you have how many zeros? Two zeros. So you have to put two dash. Now 12 square is 144. So we have to write 44 here and one is carry for 124. So it is 12544. So this is actually a shortcut 
to find 112 square. So if you feel it difficult, just multiply 112 into 112. Now you have one more six here. So multiply this with one, two, five, four, four. So if you multiply, you get four into six, 24 to four into six, 24 plus two, 26, uh, five into six, 30, 30 plus two, 32. And six into two, 12 plus three, 15. Again, carry over one. One into six, six, six plus one, seven. Now, what is this 75,264? The 75,264 is the total amount you will get after two years, but you have to find only component test. So how is it possible? So this is the amount you invested. And after two years, you will get 75,264. So what is the extra amount you got? 15,264. So this extra amount is nothing but your compound interest, right? So now you found compound interest easily without any formula. So this is the actual trick to find compound interest for any problem. Okay. And next, you have to find simple interest for 50,000 rupees at 16 percentage for two years. See, simple interest is quite easy. For one year, if it is 16 percentage, for two years, it is 32 percentage. So you have to find 32 percentage for 50,000 rupees. So what is 32,000, 32 percentage for 50,000? So it is 32 into 5, 160, and you have two more zeros. So it is 16,000. Now, the 16,000 is only simple interest. This is not total amount. For 50,000, 32 percentage is 16,000. So that is your simple interest, right? Now you have to find difference between the simple interest and compound interest. Yeah. So how to find it? So just look at the difference. So 15264 and 16,000. Now look the difference. So it is six and this is three and it is seven. So the difference is 736. So this is your answer. So difference between simple interest and compound interest for the given uh, principal and for the given rate of interest for two years is 736. Hope you are clear with this problem. Now moving to question number three. And at the bottom, you could see something, right? So you can download our application CDTS from Play Store. We have posted a lot of TCS NQT questions there at free of cost. So just download it and get benefited. Now question number three. If A is to B equal to two is to three and B is to C equal to four is to five and D is 20 percentage more than C, find the ratio between A and D. It's very simple. So a is to B equal to two is to three. And it is obvious every year they are asking one question from ratios or they may ask you from partnership. This is very important topic. Okay. So A is to B equal to two is to three. B is to C equal to four is to five. Now B is common in both the cases, right? So B is common in both the cases, but the numbers are different. So to make it common, we can take LCM, right? So if you take LCM, 12 is the LCM. Right, so for three and four, LCM is 12. So multiply the first part by four and the second part by three. Right, so four into two, eight. And four into three, 12. And here, three into four, 12. Three into five, 15. Now you found A is to B is to C is eight is to 12 is to 15. Because now you have 12 common in both the cases. Now, and you have one more hint. D is 20 percentage more than C. So D is 20 percentage more than C. So C is 15, right? So C is 15 parts. So this is 20 part, 20 percentage more than C, right? So this is actually 100 percentage. Now you have to increase it by 20 percentage. So it is into 120 divided by 100. Now if you cancel zero and zero cancel, and this is how many times? In fifth table, three times, and this is two times, and you can cancel this again. It is six times. So three into six, 18, right? Now you found D is 18. Now you have to find the ratio between A and D. So what is A here? Eight. And what is D here? 18. Now you can't write eight is to 18. So cancel it, you get four is to nine. So four is to nine is the ratio between A and D. Hope you are clear. Now moving to question number four. Yeah, so this question is based on partnership, but this is level one question, very basic question that was asked in TVCA TCS NQT. Aditya, Bhaskar and Chandu divide an amount of rupees 10,200 among themselves in the ratio 4 is to 7 is to 6. Aditya and Chandu gave rupees 600 each to charity and Bhaskar lent rupees 3,000 to Pradeep and earned an interest of 1,200. Find the ratio of amount with them now. So we have three people, Aditya, Bhaskar and Chandu. So we can name them A, B and C. Now they divide the amount 10,200 among themselves in the ratio 4 is to 7 is to 6. 
So totally they have how many parts? 4 plus 7 plus 6? 17 parts they have. So that 17 parts is 10,200 rupees, right? Because they totally have 10,200 and they totally have 17 parts. So if you equate it, so you get one part, right? So one part is how much? 10200 upon 17. So if you cancel this, this will go by 6 times. So 6 into 100, 600. So one part equal to 600 rupees. Now, A will get how many parts? Four parts. So four into 600, 2,400. And B gets seven parts. So if one part is 600, seven into six, 42. So it is 4,200. And C gets six parts, six into six, 36. So it is 3,600. Now, Aditya and Chandu gives 600 each to charity. So Aditya gives 600 rupees to charity and Chandu gives 600 rupees to charity. Now subtract it. So 2,400 minus 600, it is 1,800 rupees with Aditya now. And Chandu will have only 3,000 rupees with him after donating that 600 rupees to charity. Now Bhaskar lent 3,000 rupees to Pradeep, right? So out of the 4,200, he lent 3,000 rupees to Pradeep and earned an interest of 1,200. That means from 4,200, he gave 3,000 to Pradeep. And with that, he is getting 1,200 rupees extra. That is his interest amount, right? So if you subtract 3,000 rupees from this 4,200, he will be having how much? 1,200. Now with this 3,000 rupees, he will get 1,200 rupees extra. So he will be getting how much now? So he will be getting 4,200 now. So if you add it, you get how much? 5,400. Now B will have 5,400 rupees with him now, right? Now, what is the ratio of amount with them now? So it is 1,800, 5,400 and 3,000. So cancel it. Yeah, sixth table, three times and sixth table, nine times and sixth table, five times. So three is to nine is to five is the final amount with them, all right? So actually you don't want to cancel like this and subtract like this for your understanding. I wrote all the calculation in a detailed way, right? So if you are thorough with the numbers, just by looking the question, you can come with, come with the answer, right? So it is actually a very easy concept. Okay, now question number five. So this question is based on pipes and system, right? So pipes A and B can fill an empty tank in 20 minutes and X minutes respectively, whereas C can empty the full tank in 16 minutes. When pipes A, B and C are open simultaneously, the tank will be filled in 15 minutes. What is the value of X? So you have to find what is the value of X. So we have three pipes in total. So two pipes are filling the tank and one pipe empty the tank. So pipe A fill the tank in 20 minutes and pipe B fill the tank in X minutes. So both the pipes are filling, right? So we can mark it with plus and pipe C empty the tank in uh, 60 minutes. So this is negative efficiency. So we can take it as minus. We don't know what is the total capacity of the tank. Take LCM, right? So you have only two numbers here. So take LCM of 20 and 60. So 60 is the LCM. So total capacity of the tank is 60 units. So this is our assumption, right? So you can take any value. So even you can multiply 20 into 60, 1200. With that also you can do. So you can take any value. Now see, pipe A will fill the 60 units in 20 minutes. So in one minute, pipe A will fill how many units? 60 by 20, three units per minute. So three units per minute is efficiency of pipe A. And if you take pipe B, the 60 units will be filled by pipe B in X minutes. So in one minute, pipe B will fill how many units? 60 by X, 60 by X unit per minute. Now pipe C will empty that 60 units in 60 minutes. So in one minute, pipe C will empty how many units? 60 by 60, only one unit. Yeah, this, this is empty. That is negative efficiency. Now, if you open pipe A, B and C together, it will fill the tank in 15 minutes, right? So totally the 60 units will be filled in how many minutes? 15 minutes. So in one minute, it will fill how many units then? So cancel it four. So four unit per minute, right? So that is in one minute, pipe A, pipe B and pipe C. Together, it will fill four units. Even though that pipe C is a negative efficiency, together it will fill four unit, right? Now we know pipe A will fill three unit, right? So what is efficiency of A, B and C now? Four units per minute. Now pipe A will fill 
three units and pipe b will fill 60 by x unit per minute and pipe c will empty right so we have to subtract so pipe c will empty one unit per minute and totally pipe a b and c together it will fill four unit now we can solve this so if you uh, multiply this x here so it is 3x plus 60 minus x equal to yeah this is 4x 3x minus x is 2x if you take this 2x to right hand side you get 4x minus 2x 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 equal to 60 then what is value of x 60 by 2 30 now what we have to find is the value of x so value of x is 30 so what is the 30 so this is time taken by b to fill the tank so 30 minutes so 30 minutes is our answer i hope you are clear with this problem so practice all this problem again and again okay so please keep on practicing until your tcs national qualifier examination we plan to post a lot of numerical ability logical that is your cognitive skill questions so please stay updated with career deep training solutions and you can download our application cdts from play store all right so it is free of cost so just download it from play store and you can watch all the videos of TCS NQT and if you are preparing for a campus interview, it will be definitely helpful for you. So stay connected with us to motivate us. Please click a like and share it to your friends. Thank you. Have a great day and all the very best for your TCS NQT.